Hey, along with fine wines, he's bringing a taste of Italy to Brexville. So we're going to welcome the head chef, executive chef Jonathan Barger from 750 milliliter wine, soon to be called Carpe Racci. That's, that's a good name, isn't it? I love it. Carpe Racci. Sounds it's real nice. really nice. It rolls great. off the tongue real nice. Yeah, yeah. You know what rolls off the tongue real nice is this truffle. Look, take a look at, look at this old truffle here. So yeah, so some people use the fake stuff, the oil stuff. This is the real deal. Well, and then all that fake stuff that you see is like all the like extra stuff that they like pack in oil. Yeah. So we use the real deal. We got black summer truffles right now. We'll go into Burgundy. Maybe white. Whites get really high up there, so we might stop at Burgundy's. Hey, so I saw the boss earlier talking about wine, which is a great thing. So you're going to have some great wine there. But tell us about the food. All right, so um, yeah, great wine. So the food is going to be all um, Italian food. We're making all the pasta 100% in-house. Um, so during the rebuild, we built a pasta laboratory upstairs. Um, so I have a wall of Italian-made pasta tools, an extruder, and some other things. Um, so it allows us to make a huge variety of pastas and make them uh, really, really well. So the idea is that we make fewer shapes at a time and we rotate those out so we can really what show. Shape, what shape is this one? So this is Tonarelli. So this is very similar to like um, Alakitara. Alakitara is normally a pasta sheet rolled through like a, it looks like guitar strings. Mm -hmm. um, this comes out of the extruder, so it's a different shape called Tonarelli, but it mimics that same thing. Yeah, it's almost it's, square. It is squared off. It's yeah. squared and it's cut with a brass die, so it has really sharp edges. And, and when you cook with this, it is so different than the, the air dried or dried pasta because this really absorbs flavors, doesn't it? It absorbs the flavor a lot more. Um, it also cooks a lot faster and the texture is just night and day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, Walk a mile for that. <laughs> so uh, we'll start plating up a few things here if you want. So what do you got going on there? So this one right here, this is uh, this is kind of our uh, ode to beef. So we didn't want to be a steakhouse. Is it a polenta? Um, yeah, so I have creamy polenta loaded with saffron, Parmesan cheese, butter, more Parmesan cheese. I wonder why it was so yellow, the saffron did it, huh? Yeah, I'm more saffron than I should use, but that's okay. <laughs> we have fresh truffles, we have saffron. She lets me have all the nicest things I can have. All right. <laughs> we'll pull out the veg and the beef. So we have these uh, little baby French carrots. It may not always be this. Um, we're just kind of going to play with the veg and switch it mm -hmm. on a week by week basis, just being allowed to have a lot of fun with it. That brings a special kind of sweetness too, doesn't it? It really does. And then, so I actually marinate them and then I lightly roast them first and then we pick them back up on service. Um, so we marinate them. So they actually sit in a marinade raw. Uh, we add a little bit of honey, a little bit of crushed pepper flakes. So you get a real balance of flavors. Sounds great. Then I'm going to pull out the beef. Natalie's being restrained right now on the other <laughs> side of the room. Um, so the beef here is um, going to cook for 26 hours. So how, do, oh, how so where did you get the, the au jus for that? I mean, how, how did that work? Did you... uh, that's just from the cooking process. Mm -hmm. So as we cook the beef, it releases all that. Then I strain it off and I make this really nice demi-gloss that we cover over top of it. Shiny. Very shiny. And that's from, all the, uh, that's from all the beef fat. And then we just top it with a little bit of gremolata, which is just a bunch of chopped herbs and citrus. Really kind of helps brighten up the dish with all that fat. And then we have a little bit of nice microgreens, and that's our short. Let me give this a little spin while you look at it there, folks, so you can enjoy all sides of this. So you're in the square there in Brexville, Route 82 and Route 21. It used to be called the Red Brick Store. So it's a historic building. It's been there like, well, since Father Time started keeping time. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a beautiful location. Um, I used to hike the area a lot and I used to always drive past it and I was never like sure what it was. Yeah. And then uh, when I was, you know, looking for a new job, I was looking for something fun and I, I when I seen the name, I remember the building. Yeah. And I literally remember thinking, I was like, you know what, if nothing else, I want to reach out about this job because the building is just so cool. It used to be a like, furniture store. Erwin Hinda Apple owned it called the Red Brick Store. It was a furniture store? Yeah, it was That's a awesome. great furniture store, yeah. Um, Wonderful so, people. Next, we're going to work on... So what, is, what's, with the, what's in that right now? This is our house pasta, so it's kind of a play on like cashew a pepe. So I have olive oil in there, a little bit of butter, but the super most secret ingredient, which is pasta water. Mm -hmm. The pasta water has all that lovely starch in there. That's why you so, save the pasta water, everyone. Always save it. And even if you don't have a use for it right away, as silly as it sounds, if you put it in like ice cube trays, yeah. you can use it to thicken sauces and whatever the case is. It makes all um, the difference in the world. It really does. Look and at then, that. So we're taking that like that. And then... That's a home run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to hit he it with was, a little bit of cheese. Oh, yeah. He goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> he knows. Cashew a pepe is just classic. Like, it's, it's okay. so delicious. And then... Come on in, Dad. Come take, take, come take a look at this. Oh, my gosh. He's not adding that on there. <gasps> and then a bunch of truffles. She's going to faint. And, you know, we don't feel... How's it, how beautiful is that? We don't want to be, you know, not generous with the truffles. The whole point of the pasta is the truffles. So as you eat it... You're very you generous. The, very generous. Uh, oh. I get told a lot my portions are a little generous. Um, I grew up, I had a brother, a sister, a mom, a dad, 
and me and my dad always, uh, you know, it was always feeding at least two of us every time my mom cooked. So they, they had a, they had a fight for food with you and your brother. Yeah, there, they did. Well, it, it's not about having to fight for it. Me and my dad would eat faster. <laughs> so it wouldn't matter about who got more in the beginning. We all got the same portion. But oh. as long as we were faster, we got the seconds first. You got it. I got to do it. I there she goes. It. I got Then on top it. of this, just a little bit I of cheese. I have to try a piece of the truffle, too. A little bit of olive oil. And then I have this really nice parsley oil I do as well. Mm. Um, so it's parsley and herbs, adds a little greenery to it. Everything, everything is beautiful and well done. And I got to tell you, folks, like something like this, you should take a picture of, like you should, and carry it in your wallet, like friend. one of your children's. Pictures. I need to be your best friend. I have to go over here. I need to be your best friend. Wow. So, but um, yeah, I mean, I love it. I'm really blessed. I'm really lucky. Because it's an amazing so, place. so you guys are open now. You're serving, and uh, we're gonna, you're gonna go. You're, you're full blown right now, or you're yeah. So month? right now we're full blown. This is like our soft phase. So we're still working out kinks, getting menus printed, working on getting new plates, all that sort of stuff. Um, the 29th is our hard open. So as of the 29th you can come in get the full experience but we're selling all these dishes now um, we have fresh fish on the menu uh, we have risotto on the menu all sorts Great. of things so we're selling all this and what's now. the whole name of the restaurant carpe rache carpe rache and it's right at the corner of 82 and 21 the big red brick store building can't miss plenty it. of parking great food man beautiful work man. thank you so much i appreciate it's it thank a you pleasure to watch you man it's so much it's so much fun thank you now over here with my fork i did not